The Blazers of UAB square off against the Miami Hurricanes, and that's going to be an 8 p.m. Eastern start time at Hard Rock Stadium this Thursday. The Canes are the 14-point favorite, totals 54 and a half. And if you like UAB in an upset, they're plus 450 for some money line cash. We're 8-0 with a push in our last nine extra daily picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page. Access to those picks is just $2.99. We're also 3-0 and in our last three daily best plays on that same website. Access to those picks is just $1.99. For more information on how you can join in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's Patreon dot com slash Brock page now the Blazers of UAB they put up 45 points in week one they took care of Central Arkansas by the final of 45 35 quarterback Tyler Johnston the third was 17 of 25 with two touchdown passes Spencer Brown also led the charge on the ground with 127 yards rushing and a touchdown he averaged 5.3 yards a carry Jermaine Brown also had 17 carries for 75 yards and a touchdown as well. UAB successfully covered the number in four out of their last six on the road. They rushed for 233 yards in week one, uh, while their receiving core combined for three receiving touchdowns as well. Now Miami on the other side finished their 2019 campaign, losing their final three straight. And those losses came against the likes of Louisiana Tech, Duke, and Florida International. And for those who are into historical trends or might be a little bit superstitious, the Canes have failed to cover the number in four out of their last five games played on a Thursday. Donaldson's out, Burns is questionable. Now total-wise, three out of Miami's final four games of the 2019 season did end up getting over the total. They're also 6-2 and two to the over in their last eight games played in September. Another one of those superstitious type trends there now UAB on the other side obviously 1-0 to the over on the season while also finishing last year's campaign with three out of their final five contests getting over the line as well give me the UAB Blazers keeping this one close plus 14 and the over 54 and a half in that contest before we go ahead and move on just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the video Got some lines and personal leans out for college football week two. But before we dive into some more free content right here on YouTube, just have to quickly remind you once again that we're 8-0 with a push in our last nine extra daily picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page. That membership costs just $2.99. We're also currently 3-0 and in our last three daily best play tier package picks on that website as well. And that membership costs just $1.99. For more information on how you can join in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. And moving on, we're going to take a look at Duke taking on Notre Dame. 2.30 p.m. Eastern start time. The Irish are the 20-point favorite. Totals 54 and a hook. The Blue Devils are plus 770 for an upset win. Now, Duke finished their 2019 campaign, losing five out of their final six, including a 38-7 loss to Notre Dame. The Blue Devils finished the year just 1-7 and seven against the spread in their final eight as well. Hubbard, Terrain, and Coleman are out. Uh, Dukes dropped four out of their last five conference games as well. Uh, the Irish finished their 2019 campaign, winning their final six straight. And successfully covering the point spread in six of those games. Uh, they crushed Iowa State in their bowl game 33-9. and Gave up just 17 points per contest during that six-game winning streak. Quarterback Ian Book threw for over 3,000 yards last season. 34 touchdowns to just six interceptions. He also ran for 546 yards and scored four times on the ground. Now, Jeremiah owusu Koromoa led the Irish defense with eight and a half sacks along with two fumble recoveries. Kind of a man amongst boys. Uh, Kyle Hamilton led the secondary with four interceptions, including a pick six as well. The Irish have won their last 18 straight at home. They're also 5-0 and in their last five uh, conference games. 
uh, with regard to the ACC. Now, total-wise, two out of Notre Dame's final four games of 2019 got over the posted total. They averaged 43 points per contest during that span. Meanwhile, the Blue Devils on the other side saw 80% of their last 10 contests of last season get over the number themselves. They allowed 35 points a game in their final five contests as well. Give me the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, minus 20 in the over, 54 and a hook in that contest. Next matchup, it is going to be Georgia Tech versus the Florida State Seminoles, 3.30 p.m. East at Doak Campbell. The Knolls are the 13-point favorite, totals 52 and a hook. The Yellow Jackets are plus 384 and upset win. The Yellow Jackets are 9-1 and one against the spread in their last 10 meetings with the Knolls. They play them tough every year. And as a matter of fact, they averaged over 200 yards on the ground during that stretch of meetings, of course, over the course of 10 seasons. Uh, the Ramblin' Wreck has also won six out of their last seven games in Week 2. If you're into historical trends, they successfully covered the number in four out of their final seven games of 2019. Jordan Mason rushed for nearly 900 yards in 2019, seven touchdowns, 5.2 yards per carry. Amari and Brown caught seven touchdown passes last season and averaged 19 yards of reception in that run-heavy offense. Now, the Knowles on the other side, once again, they failed to cover the number in nine out of their last 10 meetings with Georgia Tech. Really, uh, uh, the Yellow Jackets play them tough. Now, the Knowles failed to cover the point spread in six out of their final eight games of 2019, and they scored 20 points or less in five of those contests. This Knowles defense gave up 27 points a game in their last eight contests as well. Now, total-wise, FSU's 6-1 and one to the under in their last seven conference games. They also saw five out of their last nine meetings with Georgia Tech stay under the line. The Yellow Jackets on the other side scored just 14 points a game in their final five contests themselves last year. So although I do think they should you know, keep this one close, we might not see a whole lot of scoring in this one. Give me the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets plus 13 and the under 52 and a half in that contest. All right, next and final matchup for the show, it is going to be Clemson-Wake Forest, 7.30 p.m. East. The Tigers are the 13, uh, the 32 and a half point favorite on the road here. Total 60 points. The Tigers have won their last 10 straight against the Demon Deacons. Trevor Lawrence completed 66% of his passes last season. 36 touchdowns through the air. 3,600 plus yards he threw for. He also ran for over 500 yards and punched it in nine times on the ground. Justin Ross caught 66 balls in 2019 for over 860 yards. He had eight touchdown receptions. And linebacker James Skalski, I love this guy. He is so tough. He finished the season with 90 tackles, four and a half sacks, and a fumble recovery. Clemson scored 38 points or more in eight out of their final 10 games of 2019. They also held their opponents to 17 points or less in eight out of those 10 ball games as well. They're taking on a Wake Forest team who lost four out of their final five games of the season last year themselves. Just three and six ATS in their last nine. The Demon Demons got shellacked by Clemson in uh, last season's meeting by the final of 52 to three. And they allowed 36 points a game in their final five contests as well. Now, when it comes to the total in this one, Wake Forest, I know it sounds weird, but they probably won't be able to score enough to put this one over. Uh, the Demon Deacons went 70% to the under in their last 10 games. And they're also 9-4 and four to the under in their last 13 conference matchups as well. The Tigers on the other side saw three out of their last five stay under the posted number. This is a tough pick. It's a tight window, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to lean toward the Clemson Tigers, minus 32.5, covering the number and the under 60 points in that contest. Once again, I do not think that Wake Forest will be able to score enough to uh, put this one over uh, for both teams. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you decide to get a package here today, just keep in mind we bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Tuesday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website 
at patreon.com slash brockpage.